Controllers are a much more prevalent piece of equipment in today's hobby. I currently run an Apex on my Lagoon, and I'm gonna be talking about why I think adding a controller to your reef tank could be beneficial. What's going on reefers? Welcome back to the video. My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about controllers. As I mentioned earlier, I'm currently running an Apex system here on the Lagoon. I don't know about you all, but I'm kind of a helicopter parent when it comes to my reef tanks. If I'm at work, if I'm out of town, maybe on vacation, sitting on a beach, sipping on a pina colada, I'm still thinking about my reef tanks and I wanna know what's going on. And that's where controllers step in. Now, I'm gonna be talking about my Apex, but I'm gonna be talking about controllers in general and why I think adding one to your reef tank could be a really good choice. I'm really excited about doing this video, starting this series with you all, and getting this conversation going about controllers. Now let's go ahead and dive into it and check out my history and this Apex system that I've currently been running. The Apex controller system that I have is actually a discontinued older version. It came with a temperature probe, a salinity probe, an ORP probe, and a pH probe. The head unit is where you're gonna end up plugging in your auxiliary power, your aqua bus, and all of your probes as well. And the energy bar is where you're gonna be plugging in your equipment to be able to control those via the Apex Fusion app. Another thing I love about the Apex controller system is the Apex Fusion app that's the interface for the controller. We'll go ahead and jump into that now. Right off the start, you see the water quality that's shown from your controller system. Obviously, I need a new salinity probe. It's an older one. I know I need to get a new one, so I'm constantly checking that with my HANA refractometer. But going ahead and jumping into it, you see your interface right away, and then you can check out all of your pieces of equipment as well that maybe you need to turn something off. You can slide it open, turn off your skimmer. If you want it back on, just flip it back on and then lock it up. But overall, really love the app interface and it's a nice addition to the Apex controller. As mentioned before, the salinity probe needs to be replaced, but I wanted to show to you all that the salinity of the Lagoon is just fine. We're sitting at 1.025 and all things look okay. But the salinity probe over the course of time needs to be replaced for your Apex Fusion and mine's about three years old, so it's about time to change it out. Our reef tanks are full of all kinds of pieces of equipment, and it's nice to be able to put them all into one interface and see them all in one place. To be able to turn them on and off during water changes is a really huge plus, and if you're utilizing Apex controller equipment pieces, you can streamline them, and they're able to send you notifications if these equipment pieces fail. As for your entire system in general though, you can get a push notification to let you know about the heartbeat of your tank if the power ends up going out. Now before we go ahead and check out what's underneath the hood, I wanna go ahead and talk about why I got the Apex controller in the first place. Now at my previous work, I was a salvage technician. I was chasing after sunken boats and sometimes I was gone days, weeks at a time and I needed a way to monitor my tank from afar. And that's when the Apex controller kind of showcased itself to me. I had seen it on bulk reef supply videos, seen it on different forums, social medias, and I was really interested and I wanted to purchase one myself. I went ahead, bought one, and after I got it, I realized right away why I really wanted one all along. The ability to monitor my tank from afar was bar none the best thing. Obviously it's a controller, you have different ways to control and change different aspects of your tank with this controller. But the main thing I liked so much about it was the monitoring it could do. Now that was the main reason why I ended up getting my controller in the first place. And over the course of time, I've tried to learn more about the Apex, but I'm definitely looking forward to diving into it more and getting to know it a lot better. Now let's go ahead and dive in, check out what's going on and see it underneath the hood. Here is the Lagoon. We'll go ahead and check that out real quick. Corals are looking really good. Clownfish are super happy. The Hell Freaky are doing well, hanging out in here. They're getting a lot more active, but corals are doing super good. 
the red linkia star is doing great. The willow, the Bahama Llama weeping willow, I believe is shedding and getting a little bit bigger. So that's exciting stuff. But overall, things are looking really good in the lagoon. Recently added this Koji Wade frag. Really excited about having that in here as well. Um, still have some issues with some Valonia, obviously, but I just fear adding any emerald to this tank will destroy my macroalgae population. And that's not what I want because that's part of it is the Codium, the different Calerpa species that are, you know, popping up from the rock work. But that's something that I really like and enjoy about this tank. So kind of trying to figure out the best course of action to trying to get this bubble algae out. I did a huge cleanup once and I probably will plan on doing it again here soon, but things are looking good in the lagoon. Now down below, We'll go ahead and mention this rat's nest is far greater than what it was before. As I had said previously in the video, when I threw this tank back together, when I moved down here, I just kind of slopped it all together. There was wires everywhere. I ended up finding two power sources that went to no piece of equipment. They were just in there. Um, but overall, I need to get these controllers off the ground and hung up on the wall. My ink bird, my return pump, my MP10, the apex head unit itself. And then here is the energy bar, but things are looking a lot better. I ended up snagging some of these Amazon little Velcro cord strap holders to kind of shorten all the cords down and not have so much loose cord hanging out, but definitely a lot cleaner look in here, but I look forward to getting some of these things hung up and utilizing this apex a little bit better. As I keep mentioning, I want to learn more about it and be able to use it to its best ability. So let's go ahead and head out and check out the frag tank. Out at the frag tank, once again, things are growing like crazy in here. This Colt Coral is absolutely massive. This piece that I recently grabbed from a local is getting nice and big. This toadstool is filling out good. This is a giant toadstool as well. But definitely have a little bit of algae issue in here, just some things I need to work on. But I wanted to bring you all out to see this crazy nightmare of cords. I am just like you all. I am no one special. I have rat's nests as well. But this is something that I want to clean up. It's what I recently just did with the lagoon and what I would like to do with this tank. Also, one thing I'd like to mention is I want to get some kind of controller onto this system. I think it'd be really great to get an apex of sort onto this tank because I can keep kind of that consistency and have one interface for all of my tanks. I've really enjoyed this frag tank though. I think I need to slap in a couple more fish though, get the nutrients up, but I definitely need to work on this crazy cord mess down below. But one thing I'd like to do though is get a controller on here and get things working. I will mention though, I'm really digging this refugium light from AI. Stick, definitely stick around for an upcoming video on my review of that guy. But wanted to mention to you all that I'm definitely looking at adding a controller to this tank as well. And hopefully I can keep it consistent and stay within the Apex family. But I wanted to show you all, I'm not perfect. There's rat's nests everywhere. In my honest opinion, adding a controller to your tank is one of the best things you can do for yourself to give yourself a little peace of mind. I've really enjoyed showcasing my Apex system here on the channel today, and I'm really excited about diving into it a little bit more and getting to know my Apex a lot better. It's gonna be fun to show that series here on the channel and share it with you all. I really appreciate you guys tagging in. I'm just an average reefer. I just like to showcase it here on YouTube, but the fact you guys are supporting it all means a ton to me. I'm really excited about this series to continue, talk a lot more about controllers with you all, and until next time, happy reefing.